Jack Spade back here with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today is the third part and the conclusion of the cowboy holster for the 1911 45 ACP. So, in the past two episodes, if you haven't seen those, go back, check out part one, part two. And we started with a pattern in part one. We got into uh, cutting the leather and getting it prepared in part two. And then off camera between part two and today, uh, I went ahead and did the stitching and the dyeing so that we uh, already had that part done. And then I'll show you how I'm going to wrap this project up. Uh, I think it turned out great. Um, so come on in and let's get started. All right, so I have all my pieces here. Um, we went ahead and did the stitching, and you can go back and check out some of my previous videos on different types of stitching that I've done. Uh, we just used a basic saddle stitch. I stitched this by hand using uh, synthetic sinew, waxed sinew, um, and we dyed it. We dyed it a dark brown and then you can tell it's got a nice sheen on it I use the Fibings leather sheen and it has two coats and it's buffed by hand and I also did the same thing with the strap for the uh, concho and I made a leather backing concho uh, by hand because some of the ones I had, and I'll show you that, here's some of the leather conchos that I had. Uh, first of all, I needed a hole in the center for my concho, and this one was just a little too small. So what I did was I cut out a bigger circle out of a piece of leather, and then I took my round cutoff, punch and just went around that circle and punched that and that's how I ended up with the concho the size I needed. So the uh, metal concho I'm using is a like an aged stainless steel and that will go right in the center of that and that's what it will look like. So it turned out really nice um, so I did put the slots in it because I want to run my strap through and I cut slots in the flap of the back of the holster that's gonna be create my belt loop and also that'll be the slots that'll hold my strap my concho strap in place so it doesn't slide up and down or twist at all. So the thing I want to do today is go ahead and put all this together, finish it up. Um, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and put my strap through my leather concho. So I'll pull that through and I'll put it through the other side here from the front to the back and this is a fairly snug fit you may be able to hear that leather with that sheen on there and once you get it through there you can grab a hold of it get it started you can pull it the rest of the way through fairly easy. Now I have to get those holes to line up. I've got a hole in my strap and a hole in my concho, my leather concho, for my silver concho to go through. Then I can go ahead and push that through and it is 
it's maybe a little difficult to get that matched up at first so you may have to make some adjustments there here we go we get that to slide in there and we can take our Chicago screw that goes in the back of the concho make sure we don't get it cross threaded and we can snug it down now that is pretty thick so I don't really have any worries or concerns of that coming loose on there there's what it looks like there's my backing with the screw now we're gonna have to do the same thing as we put this around the holster and we need to run those straps through the back of the holster in those slots which makes it a little more difficult because you're wrapping it around the front of that holster so you may have to work at it a little bit harder you want them snug though you don't want it loose where it just slides in there like a, a loose belt loop or something you want it snug so it doesn't slide around once you get your leather pieces in there so I'll keep working that and you might have to take a pair of small pair of pliers or something and grab a hold of that and pull that through and again I'm just gonna keep working that and looking at the front as I pull it through because I want this to stay right in the center so I need to make sure that I I'm pulling it through and keeping that concho centered on the front and also my strap or my fold for my uh, belt loop I want to keep it nice and centered also on the back so I'll keep pulling that through pushing that leather together turning it over taking a look at it I need to pull this one back out of here and pull the back one the back side through just a little bit more and again this is not going to be super simple just because you may have to work it if that leather is nice and thick and it's tough um, it's nice and solid and it's good and dry so I've got that centered I want to take a look at my finished piece here and as I just preliminarily cut this and punched my hole in it and when I dry fit it well once I put this on here and get it nice and tight I could tell it's uh, definitely uh, too long so I'm gonna have to cut that off which is not a problem I can touch that leather strap up so I'll take my rounded punch double check it again and that looks like trim just a hair I got a little stray there we go and then I'll mark that where I need to punch my hole back in there and I'll just flip them back over the other direction and again keeping it straight 
on the front keeping my concho nice and centered before I do that so I'll make my mark I'll go ahead and turn this over and put this on the edge of my work surface and I'll tell you what, I'm going to get rid of this cardboard because I don't need that cushion underneath there. I need a hard surface. So let's just get that out of the way. And I'll put my strap, hold my holster over the edge so I can get a nice straight cut here with my punch. Cut that corner off. Make sure I get all the way through. Pull my punch out. And there's my new hole. I know that hole is precise now. I can take what I'm using to bond that together you could use a snap you could use a uh, rivet whatever you'd like you could uh, it'd be difficult to stitch it but I'm using a Chicago screw to put that in there with so I'm going to slide my Chicago screw through that hole like so then I'm gonna pull this nice and tight and slide my second piece over the top like so then I'll insert my Chicago screw the threaded end if I can find it after I dropped it I got lucky and then I can go ahead and well, I tell you what, before I thread that in, I do not want that coming loose. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take just a little bit of leather craft glue. And you could use blue Loctite um, or whatever. I've used uh, rubber cement. And I'm just going to put a little drop, not even a drop, if I can show you. See the tip? I just put a little bit on there and all that's going to do is help secure that screw so it doesn't <coughs> excuse me it's going to secure that screw so it doesn't back out on its own and i don't think it would if it's tight that just gives me a little bit more security so it doesn't um Sometimes these are a little tedious to get started, but all that's going to do is kind of keep that in there. Again, you could use blue Loctite. I've used uh, contact cement. Um, and the other thing is, is how tight can you get it by, you know, holding the back because it's such a tight tolerance in there. So I'll snug that down. What makes that nice is the back side of that Chicago screw is so flat. Um, there's what it ends up looking like on the back. So it's nice and flat. Uh, much flatter than a snap. And then on the front, I have my finished strap with my leather concho behind. And then my aged stainless or silver concho on the top of that. There's the completed project. Uh, you can see probably the two steps that I did off camera. Uh, you know, I did the uh, dyeing and I did the stitching. Uh, but that would have took quite a bit of time to dry. At least overnight so that's why I did that off camera 
you can see it turned out really nice. The fit is great. It looks nice. Goes well with the wood grips, the dark brown. Here's the back. There's where the belt goes. So it's going to be a nice snug fit. So really happy the way this turned out. Like I said, I think it was in the first video of this. Um, I've always wanted to do one of these uh, for this 1911 so thought it'd be a great project to put on here so I hope you liked it if you're gonna build one of these good luck I mean the sky's the limit on what you want to do to it as far as uh, adorning it with conchos or whether you want it dull finished or you want it like I wanted the high gloss finish on mine and you can tell it turned out really nice with that fibing sheen so uh, it's up to you how you want it to look when it's finished and what color. Uh, but I appreciate you coming along and checking it out. This concludes this three-part series on this project. And uh, I'm happy with the way it turned out. So I hope you like it. Please, as I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to come back next week. And I'll see you next time.